Uh, just to be clear, you're up. you know the Twitch stream is down. Uh, no. It says code three. Twitch machine got unplugged. Is what it says on my. Maybe it's just. Turn to ban. Okay, I reloaded. You're good. Okay. You're making me paranoid. I know. <laughs> I <I'm> like. <laughs> okay, Ignis. Aaron. Oh. Anti assassin. Okay. Get rid of some more assassins. That seems fair. Cricknack is a nightmare. Susan yeah, pretty... us this far. Yeah, it seems like uh, they're going with just standard like solo queue bands right now. So I would expect Elsu in the next bands, and then probably like one of the other assassins like Zeph go. or Murad. Yep. Murad, I've not seen banned much. A lot of people haven't I haven't seen him played much in the tournaments from the tournament perspective. Yeah, he get he gets banned quite a bit in solo queue. Yeah. It, it's yeah. A after people get PTSD from a good one, they tend to ban them <laughs> the next game. And uh, oh, Roxy, you know what? Roxy's I totally good. understand. Uh, yeah, Roxy is incredibly strong. They adjusted her, and they everybody. I think everyone was concerned that it was going to weaken her to the point that she wasn't viable. But it actually, to me, made her a lot more fun to play. Yeah, I agree. Because her alt is her big utility late game. Ooh, Xenial. To anybody that doesn't, like, pay any attention to what I do, which you shouldn't. You should not look at my win rates or anything. Uh, but I've been <laughs> playing a lot of Xenial recently, and uh, I am I'm really interested in seeing how VVV plays him. See, maybe I'll learn something. I need this. Yep. I need this in my life. I watched a couple Chaos Squirrel videos on Xenio. <laughs> or maybe it was just one, but I, I definitely watched one at least a couple of times. Yeah, he's, he's definitely really good in solo queue. It's interesting, so ATF is going heavy assassin. Um, it looks like they're not going to go for a beefy team. They're going to go for more uh, poke in, you know, take their engages. But the net's definitely gonna hurt him if it's well played. Cause it's, yeah, a net was a great pick. I don't know why they chose Jinar into a net though. And then Mina, yeah, that's a good. Oh, Violet. Yep, that jungle Violet. Yeah, oh. both teams to me had interesting comps. Honestly. Amelie, I have seen played a lot recently at a very high level from just, mm -hmm. you know, general ranked matches. Amelie's on a, a nice little upswing. Yeah, she's really, really, <clears throat> really strong 1v1. One, one one. So... Yeah, both teams have like one or one, maybe one here that's kind of... I, I'm curious uh, to see what Vivi does with L'Oreal, because I would have expected them to take more of a pokey mage, like Liliana or Raz or something like that, Ten for their comp, their, their comp. But I think they're trying to go death ball with Xenial and L'Oreal. Yeah, I'm a little and Mallet, shocked so in general that, that L'Oreal isn't in this match at all, just because she's just so strong. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, she definitely, that last buff to her was very nice for that slow. That 90% is hurts. Xenial. I'm, I'm, I'm totally tuned in on the Xenial situation. <laughs> what do you think is going to be the, the make or break for the two teams? Um... Make or break for ATF is going to be a strong early game. They have heroes that fall off 
um, late game, so they have to snowball from the beginning. And I would say the first dragon is probably where we're going to see make or break for them. If they secure it with maybe a kill or just secure it by itself, I would go in their favor. Otherwise, I almost guarantee BBB wins. And for VVV, yeah, comboing, the, the way they're going to win, they, they have good team fights too. Malik, I would expect to be dragon, dragon lane. Yep, and that's what we see. And now I'm curious to see if the teams invade or not. I don't expect that they will, but VV, VVV is a, a pretty aggressive team, so they, okay. they may send one or two just to to harass and it looks like Malik is doing that but he's backing off yeah. now yep that was good vision by both teams they both secured the river vision and you know got some poking we still got a little bit going on in the middle Mina's taking a lot of heat probably not going to make it yeah, out of that yeah I don't think so uh, yeah in violet yeah she just she just stayed a little too long. Once Jinnar backed off to clear lane, I think Mina should have went with him. Yeah. But there is... Oh, yeah, and CR just got picked in the jungle also. So, like you asked, <laughs> the win conditions, this is going really, really bad for uh, ATF. Because, like we said, they had to have a strong early game, and they've already given over two kills. And now they're losing jungle, so... Yeah, they're looking at a... Well, less okay, than, but they, they got to kill top, so that'll help. Earth, yeah. Bottom, sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. So let's uh, let's just see how Mina responds to that to that early early kill. She's still floating, just maintaining vision. Yeah. But she's gonna get swarmed again. Just a really bad spot to be in. I don't know that Amelie's gonna be able to do anything about that. That's just too much too much coming in at once. She tries to do what she can just to stay in the in the in the bushes, but it just doesn't work out. Fortunately, Jenar rotated down. We've got Lindus here as well, so they have a chance to put a nice little push on this dragon. But that Malak is probably just going to body block the whole thing. Yeah, and his cleaves, if he hits them, are going to be crucial. Yeah, Iris. Yeah. Iris here. Honestly, the Annette that's... did a really good job, I think, of just maintaining yeah. that wall. And that's the benefit of the Xenial, right? Like, Ari has to run all the way down there, where Xenial, even if things would have got hard, he could have just ulted in. Yeah. I mean, up top, just maintaining top lane. Xenial is really close. He's going to get a probably pretty decent push. Instead, he's just going to back out. He's already level 6, which is not good. He is not the character you want to get fed. <laughs> yeah, he is definitely not. Him and Violet. And if you can see, they're the highest gold on the uh, VVV. Yeah, and Linda's just trying to do anything she can to that Xenial, just not able to do so, just because the the difference in both gold and just experience. I'd really, I'd really like to see kind of more of a push, a more aggressive push from ATF. They're getting the vision. At this, yeah, at this point in the game, they have to just stall. They, they're honestly so far behind, they need to just farm safely. And Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At that point, 2,500 gold at, at four minutes. And they're going to... Oh, Jinnar does get away. I don't know how. But he is able to get away. A nice little fight going on up top. Irie trying to do anything she can to that Xenial, but that Xenial is just a monster at this point. Mm -hmm. Mina gets smoked. Amelie's going to try to jump in and slow slow down that push on the tower. I feel like that Violet should have just sniped the tower, but she did not. It's probably a misplay on their side, but they're still... They're still up substantially. It's not like a huge loss. 
Annette in a kind of a bad spot. Xenial able to jump right in, save her. Probably going to take out the Amelie. Yeah, I think that was honestly yeah. intentional base is my guess. Yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense. We got Mina just taking a huge amount of damage. Malik with yeah, his ult basically locked her in. So on the good side, VVV is definitely displaying a lot of really good combos with their ults. So that's something nice to watch. Yeah, definitely. And like you said, the, the gold difference is fairly substantial at this point. And that gives them a huge advantage, especially for characters that are item-based. I mean, L'Oreal, I mean, just looking at builds, I mean, she's, she's at one item, but once, I mean, once the, once she gets a little more, little more ticks on that orb of the magi it's just more health more damage just just not good yeah that's gonna let her go very strong into like mid to late game so and then violet's almost about to finish her third tier three well second tier three but yeah so that's gonna oh, really, really top irie's just taking a lot of heat that tower's gonna go down he he is able to get away but I mean, there's really not a win there. So we're one and eight. Uh, we got two towers down and two dragons for VVV. ATF is kind of looking down the barrel at this point. They've got to do something. They are able to get the tower on bottom. And yeah, now they're... They are starting to do better things, but... They're staying too long a lot of times. In yeah, that, and that's that, oh, a, did you see that? That's yeah. awesome. She just she blocks out their retreat path. I mean, that's why Annette is just so good when she's played well. Oh, and that is really strong in that play. I mean, to be able to hit those twos consistently is a huge win. And not just hit them, but get it get it to lock them to lock the the two people down. Yep. That I'm is going. an incredibly strong ability. And they're just, looks like they're just steamrolling at this point. They've, they've shifted to the other, they push wave to ATF side of the river. They're just stealing jungle. And at this point, I'm not sure the snowball's gonna be able to stop. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah. I would, I would say it's bad for the, like, casting to make it that way, but uh, yeah, I would be not if they come back. Yeah, Mina like we Mina at level seven against a, a level eleven violet is I mean look look at that. The damage coming out from VVV is just insane. Yeah that's the the other problem is when you play like I call it a timer comp, right? And a timer comp is a composition that your heroes are gonna be stronger early in the game, but they're gonna fall off late game. So you basically have to win by a certain time. So ATF drafted a timer comp, definitely, and it's just everything went bad for them. So, I mean, coming back is going to be virtually impossible. And plus, VVV is just playing awesome, and that's playing really good. Uh, great alts, the Violet's farming well, getting where she needs to be. Yeah, and again, I mean, when you're dealing with a team from the Valor series, they finished pretty close to the top. I mean... This is kind of what you expect from a team like VVV. Yeah. Uh, Irie. Oh, they're, like I said, they're just doing so much damage. I mean, even the Mina is just getting melted. Linda's, they're getting two shot. Amelie just trying to slow them down under tower. She's not going to be able to do a lot, but at least able to push the Xenio back. What is interesting to me from VVV is like, I feel like they should be ending quicker though, because honestly, like how far ahead they are, and like you talked about, they are like a very top tier Valor series type of team. Yeah, I would expect them to be able to close a game out really quickly. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna rotate straight up to the Dark Slayer and and lay this one to rest. Yeah, I think they're going to work in this tower and try to catch them in the jungle if uh, 
ATF tries to contest. Just, uh, Violet's going off. Linda's getting two shot. Yeah, they shouldn't need to. They shouldn't even need to worry with the Dark Slayer. They should just be able to move right in. Yeah, this should be game in the next. I don't know, 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, they've got wave push. Xenial's taking bottom. There is Xenial ult away, and there it is. Yep. But. I'll give you that. Amelie really hanging in there. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're trying their best from the position they're in, so. And the best thing they can do is just try to kill the kill the waves and just try to get some gold and stay yeah. alive. But, I mean, they're... Legendary. I mean, you see that Violet. I'm pretty oh, sure man. just three-shot oh. the Mina. And Malik... Does go down. Lariel in bad shape, also. Still alive, but does die. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. So They're down, it interesting. down by 12k. Yeah. What do you do? Clear minion wave. That's what you do. Yep, start pressuring all the lanes. They can set up for Dark Slayer. Yeah, you I'm know. Better. I mean, good job, dude. Let's give ATF their props, right? They they held out. I thought for sure the game was about to end there, but but that is something where for VVV, I mean, if they're for them, if they want to take it to their game to the next level, they definitely will have to learn to close out these type of games um, quicker. I just feel like with with more gold. I mean, right now the Mina is effectively non-existent yeah i mean violet has already finished her fifth tier three and she's working on her her sixth so i mean that's she's melting people yeah irie can you survive uh, unfortunately no no and that's they've got wave pushed into the tower they've got another wave coming that is the end of the game GG. So that was pretty one-sided, but what about coming into the next match? Uh, things to look for. I'm very curious if ATF will take a timer comp or play something um, where they can just kind of stall the game to the late game. Yeah, that's really, that's really all you can do. I See, I knew the L'Oreal was going to be strong. I, I didn't expect it to be that dominant, but... I mean, 11 1 12, we get the Violet with 11 0 and 13. Yeah. But honestly, give props to the support. I think Annette uh, caused a lot of those first kills. She had some really good alts that were just uh, zoned the enemies and zoned them into her team to clean up. And Malik was really good at uh, making space also. So. Yeah. For them too. So I was in like coming into the next draft. I would like ATF to draft for late game heroes, and the reason why is because when you are the the less skilled team, let's say, I think it's a lot better to go for late game comps because it just takes one mistake for you to win the game, right? When you're yeah. like 20 minutes into the game, whereas it's if true. you take a timer comp against a team that's better than you, that means you need to play extremely well for like 10 minutes. See if I can find that. There it is. Oh, don't worry. All right. Yeah, I mean, to me, they're just. They were very heavily reliant on the Mina. And the Mina. I mean, there's only so much a support can do when you're, when you're not getting the gold that you need. I mean, you. You really just have to back them up. I mean, Mina doesn't do enough damage, you know, to to win those fights, and she kind of kept getting stuck in, you know, one v two, one v three. That's just a terrible situation to be in. And it ended up at the end of the game. I think she was she had about a third of the gold of the the violet. And at that point, I mean, what 
what chance do you do you even have? Yeah. Oh. And they're the comp. Yeah, the comps. I I, I think they could have drafted um, a team that kind of works better together. But yeah. Main thing I'm looking for late game comps. Uh, VVV, obviously, when you win a match, I would say just stick with it. Yeah. I'm actually surprised a lot of times. I feel sometimes teams, they get overconfident when they just dominate the first game, and they go to some other composition, and then they end up losing. So that could also happen. Well, but they're, they're pretty much a well-oiled machine. I mean, they should be able to, uh, they should be able to maintain. I was, I... I watched a lot of their games in Valor series from start to finish. I, they're really good. I mean, they're good players, obviously, but they're they're all pretty good dudes. So I just I I have very much been tracking their their path toward reaching that next level, and they're they're right there. I mean, they. I would not be surprised if. If we saw them getting picked up by, by some kind of sponsor or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jordan used to be the top player in NA. Yeah. His Lindus jungle, which is interesting. <laughs> that I think that's the reason ATF picked up Lindus also. Read through some comments here. Spanish stream. Oh, there's a Spanish stream, or is this asking? Uh, no. There are. We have a lot of a pretty solid amount of uh, Latin American viewers. Yeah, it seems like it based on the. And they probably came in just because VVV is a Latin American team, so maybe. Yeah. They're just getting. Oh, maybe. They're just getting some love. Oh, maybe there's some food for thought. You guys open up a another different language streams. That'd be cool. You have no idea how many people have talked to me about that this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably with AIC. You know, AIC has just all the different languages getting covered. So. Yeah. Well, I am. I am definitely interested. In the uh, in the idea of a LATAM PVL. Yep. Let's see. So, match number two, ATF. It's the final regular season series. Oh, da 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 da. Can you make it happen? Waiting. Good to go. I can get a... Are we ready? Just somebody... Somebody from the red team. Anybody at all. <laughs> All right, we're going to go in five, in four, in three, two, one. We're going. Blue team's turn Yay. to ban. All right, so the bans. I, I fully expect to see a net. I'm guessing we're going to see the same, same bans. But yeah, I, I would like to see it, like if if ATF is going to do any sort of like assassin heavy comp, I hope they ban the net. Oh, there's that Marab band. Very curious why they're banning it, but does anybody on ATF play Marab? Uh no 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 no. No. No, the only change they made to their to their team comp to is they they shifted to well, Ninja's in, in England, so she probably wanted to go to sleep. So they shifted her out and brought in Frosty. 
and uh, it's nothing against Frosty because he is my boy, but he is not a Murad player. <laughs> yeah. It's like no concern whatsoever there. So we did see a lot of different, um, actually VVV banded Linda switches out, but they got the Elsu, so yeah, we got to see Elsu. It should be interesting. Okay, ATF taking the net. Okay, but see, here's a problem. Elsu is a heavy poke champion. VVV is likely to go poke comp. Annette is not what you want against a poke composition. It, we just saw it work pretty darn well. <laughs> yeah, but that's because the, the enemy team was playing heavy assassins, right? And Jin are. They're playing people who have to get on top of you to do damage. Oh, yeah, that's true. That That's where Annette shines, is because she can zone you back, so you can't get on top of her teammates to do damage to them. And see, like, they're just going pure poke with Marja. Uh, the jungler, I would expect, like a Slims or a Violet, to come out for VVV. And then when Annette ults, she's just sitting there waiting to get killed. I'm cheering for yeah. Frosty on Joker. <laughs> just Joker? Oh, okay. No! <laughs> Uh, he says, you know nothing, Jerry. Uh, you know nothing. He, I, that's, that's how I you heard it in, in your my face. head. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> oh, interesting. They're going to actually go for an assassin jungle. <clears throat> I do like, <clears throat> I do like both team comps better than last game, though. I feel like they're more synergize with the picks I just I don't I don't mean to sound like that guy but uh, Marksman, please Lou, ETF Marksman. Lou Boo I I'm just I'm not feeling the Lou Boo train that everybody seems to be on recently he's so good I know but last time I said that then the person <laughs> did terrible so but I'm still a Lou Boo supporter so whatever I hope Nick Fly doesn't doesn't put a egg on my face again. But I'm very surprised neither team decided to go for a marksman um, jungle, especially ATF because they're very poke composition, right? Like they have the Lindus, the Val, like, and they have the net to really protect uh, range damage. So I'm surprised they went for uh, assassin. Random side Watch. note. I love toothpick on Malak. <clears throat> will, oh, yes. will it make the difference? I don't know. I I feel like I feel like VVV has the stronger overall build. <clears throat> Though I still would yeah. argue that Lubu is is not the man. Now yeah, of course VVV now that I've said so that long. now that I've said that. <laughs> Uh, Lou Boo's gonna go 80 and 80 and 0 or something. I would expect it. <laughs> yeah. Now, another thing, like we we talked about before the game, is I I think if you're the weaker team, you should pick uh, for late game and just try to stall, 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 and then get one good team fight and then finish the game. And they didn't do that in their pick, right? Like Nakroth can't do that; he's gonna fall off. So. I would expect the same as last game, basically. I just remember when uh, when I started back, this, well, December of last year, Lu Bu, obviously I'm a Chognar fan, Lu Bu was the bane of my existence when I started this game. Because I just wanted to be an elephant and run around. Yeah. And Lu Bu was not having it. Arena. Punch it down. <laughs> that's, that's what happened. All right, so the curiosity is killing me. I want to see this wow, LSU situation. So expect to see wards in the river, river brush, and a lot of snipes. And Liliana just slowly getting poked down. <laughs> yeah. Random side point for everybody in NA that has been playing over the last couple of weeks. If you stand on Elsu's Sentinels for two seconds, they go away. So if you're a tank, for the love of God, do something about it. Yes. And there's a visual circle that goes around the, the, the landmine, I'll call it. So that, that circle is how long you have to stand on it. 
<coughs> All right, so we got a little bit of heat going in the ATF jungle. Lubu kind of pushing everyone back. Crash was in a little bit of trouble. ATF sticking together a lot better than they did last game, yeah. which will be hugely important. Pretty much also throughout. Net harassed. A net harassed the uh, Zephy's flu a, a lot better, so. Zephyrus is yeah. nice. really Good under. Steal by Liliana. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Batarung is definitely doing a lot better at the beginning of this game. Kind of just poking and providing vision. Well, he's a uh, he's a pretty good net player. Just generally. Yep. Okay, Dragon coming up in five. Valheim versus Marja. I think I feel like Marja should win oh, that no matter what. You can see there that Elsie mm. Snipe and Zephyrs does get away, unfortunately, for ATF. Oh, he almost took out Malak. Surprise! I mean, it was a very, very close miss. So Liliana has her ult now. I'd like to see her use that advantage um, somewhere on the map. Weirdly enough, the Valheim put a lot of pressure on that Marja up top. Yeah, back up coming, looks like from both sides. Got yeah, I'm jungle. curious, neither team's putting any uh, emphasis on the dragon. If you notice, the bottom was very cleared out, Lubu back, they could have actually, uh, ATF could have easily got a dragon. Yeah, I think they're, after that last match, they're, they're going to play it a lot more safe, which really could play is really just going to play into VVV's hands. Let's say VVV is doing a little bit better of a job in the jungle. Gold is pretty much spot on. Yep. And yeah, see, Elsie gets so strong when he gets the setup that you see mid right now with the multiple wards. Because another note, you take more damage from Elsu if you're standing in his wards. Right. Uh, and the dragon's probably going to, yeah, went to VVV. Yeah. But Ooh, if okay. ATF can get some kills, they can even it out. Doesn't look like they're going to, though. They kind of got caught in a bad spot. Marsh uh, is able to get a kill. Crushed in trouble is going to be able to back out. Yeah, Liliana's honestly was a little shy there. Valheim, probably not, yeah. And the question is, can they get back to rotations? Elsu taking a lot of damage. Malak not able to get it. That Elsu ult, it seems very... Eh. But in a lot of situations, especially for, you know, just getting out... You can still do an incredible amount of damage as you're escaping. It's it's pretty it's really strong. Yeah, it's stronger than I expected so initially. And also, good call on the Malik. I, I agree with you. She picks doing very good, leading in gold. Well, Val took him now, but uh, ATF in a good spot can get some kills. Zephyrus jumps in and. Basically eliminates any chance of that. I think ATF is too passive after last game because, like, there they definitely had the advantage. They should have pushed that fight. They would have got multiple kills, most likely. But I think they're still a little traumatized after last game's snowball. Which is, it's understandable. Yeah, a little yeah, bit of definitely. a push from Valheim up top. He might be able to get that tower. Oh, he is okay. able to get it. We got a lot going on on bottom. Liliana in trouble. I don't know. I don't know who's in the better position. Oh, and definitely VVV. But it's, yeah, I was going to say, it's, right. as it plays out, VVV is definitely there. Crashed ult is going to be the end of the fight. I thought it would be the end of the tower, but it is not. 
crest is just going to roll back. They pulled the dragon just to prevent it from being yeah, taken. Yeah. There's just a lot of a lot of small things that VVV is doing that that show that they are a great team. Meanwhile, yeah, up top, top, Valheim just doing his best to just annoy the crap out of anyone that comes his way. But the grouping and the rotations for ATF are a lot better. A nice little push from from the Nacroth. But like you said, it's they're just not they're not finishing. They're moving in, they're getting damage, and they're getting out. Yeah. Which is, is is good that they're poking for their composition, but they need to know when they should dive in to finish off. And I think that's where they're missing. And there that Lubu catches Liliana rotating. So Malik's kind of doing something that I think people could work on is he's just sitting in lane when there's no wave and nothing else to do. I'd like to see him roam more. Oh. Bottom has a situation. Yeah. Situation bottom, mid, situation mid. Flicker, yeah, exactly. Hopping uh, back and forth. Elsu is going to oh, take... Net, not, yeah. Oh, man. Annette. Annette. Oh, and wow. missed. Okay. Missed, yeah. That I was... cannot believe that recall made it through. <laughs> I can't, I'm stunned. I know, me too. That was... I thought that was death for sure. And Malik is going to be done as well. So we're at 6-0. and 4 VVV. Gold at about... Right at... Right at 4K. Nacroth trying to get the damage in, but he's he needs to retreat faster. I mean, almost as fast as he goes in. He's just not able to make anything happen. Yeah, the problem is, is uh, if you saw early game, he was doing good going in like that. He was getting good damage, but now they're just too far behind in builds, and he's doing almost nothing. And if you notice, Cephis is now blowing people up. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a huge now issue. Now double top. Yeah. Yeah, Fal goes down. So that six, six and zero quickly, quickly becomes nine and zero. Yeah, Just, the, the wheels have kind of come off. Yeah. It's all about positioning. Vatarung doing what he can on the net, but it just. See, like, okay, sorry, bottom real quick, like, this is an example, like, Liliana should be able to kill Lubu here, and there's just, like, a trigger shyness. But Lubu does get away with that mobility. And as you can see up top, I mean, they're just wrecking the ATF jungle. Yep. At this point, I think we can expect uh, VVV to push all the lanes and start uh, taking down towers pretty quickly here. Yeah, once they once they get that that top tower down, I expect that they'll push wave and then just roll back. They should be able to just take the Slayer and move in. And yeah, and something that's so strong about Elsa is if you notice in the jungle, he has he's starting to get vision in the jungle, which lets his team uh, rotate really quickly from tower to tower. So you can actually push towers down really quickly with Elsu teams. Well, doesn't he get his abilities do damage to towers as well? Um, I don't think his snipe works on. I'm almost positive. I don't remember but which one it his, is. His auto attack still does a lot of damage. One of his abilities does like 20 or 30 percent extra damage to towers or something. I don't remember exactly which one it is. I haven't actually played him yet. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, Sometimes. I got him, but yeah, he's in every game, so you don't really have a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just looking... Looking at the levels, we're averaging, we're at a median 13, yeah, we're at a median 13 on VVV, we're right at, we're basically at 11 on ATF, 
And those two levels make a surprising amount of difference. Yeah, so I'd expect Elsie to start setting some wards deep in the ATS jungle. And then they should be able to get towers really quickly after that. A red team tower has been destroyed. Yep. There we go. Yeah, pretty much exactly what you said. And that's gonna allow him to hit people under tower for crazy damage. There it is. Oh, Liliana, there we go. That's good. Nearly half life. They are they are getting some kills, but it's just I mean, they're going to need almost a team wipe and a push yeah, no, to get caught up. It, it's like we talked about, right? The They had almost all their towers, and now in the last two minutes, they've lost everything except their high ground towers. Yeah. So, VVV is still just gaining value. Gold lead up to 8k now. So, in this that situation... What's the expectation? Yeah. Uh, what's the expectation? Well, what's the expectation um, for a turnaround from ATF? Like, how do you make? What do you expect them to do to make it happen? Uh, they have to catch people rotating. So VVV has to rotate between uh, the different lanes to put pressure on the towers. Right. So if VVV or sorry, if ATF can catch somebody in the jungle when they're rotating, then they can get kills. So, like this, like what's happening, if they can manage to actually clean up the kill on Zephyrs and Crushed. But, yeah, they're just finding it very hard. Yeah. Malik now in a bad spot, but he's able to get the Elsu down. The problem is they're losing two high ground towers for that. So, even if he killed both them and Crushed, it's, it's going to be a loss for them. Yeah. A red team tower has been destroyed. And VVV, just a note on VVV, their timing's really good. If you notice the the top and the bottom, or the, sorry, the top, bottom, and the mid waves were hitting yeah. simultaneously, so that's very nice. Um, the problem, so remember, like at the beginning of the game, we talked about I, the the teams that are behind, I would like to draft for late game, right? Right. Um, that, that that's the problem with Nakroth, right? What's he gonna do now? He like he can't play from behind. He, he's not going to do much, right? So, and he can't really help you clear waves. So if you're going to defend your high ground towers late game, you need the ability to clear waves really quickly and safely. But Nakroth has to dive into clear waves. He's going to get killed. So, yeah. Th those type of selections make a turnaround for uh, ATF that, really hard. That Marsha is doing an incredible job. Yep, and then they're just getting caught out. So, yeah. they when defending, that a, is also not. Well, they walked into a 3v4 and won. Yeah. Malik doing his best just to push back. But he's not just not getting. Just not getting any help. That Elsie damage. But credit to ATF, they did a lot better in this game. Like you said, you know, uh, VVV is a Valor Series team, right? And last game they only had two kills, this game they got seven. Um, and they actually, they, they kept the game close for probably the early and mid game. So good job to ATF on that. So, overall layout. The uh, the Lubu didn't do bad. I'll 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 accept that. But I just don't think he. I just feel like an Irie or a. I feel like there are better options. 